you know, in, in terms of preseason, you know, the guys have worked extremely hard, um, you know, but so has every other team in the country. Um, you know, right now we have several new guys and they're just trying to learn our culture, learn our vernacular, just learn what we're about here. And it's kind of like breaking new habit, bad habits, but steadily trying to teach new ones as well. So that's been the challenge of the team thus far. Um, you know, Ray has to provide a significant amount of leadership, not only in his talk, but through his play, through his actions on the floor. And hopefully those guys can follow. Um, as far as Wichita State, I intentionally scheduled this game because I wanted to play uh, one of the top mid-major programs in the country. And, you know, I, lo I love the challenge. We're not afraid to play anyone, any day, any time. It, it doesn't matter to me. Um, but I thought it would be a, a great environment. And I just want every game to kind of prepare us for March, you know, when we're in that heat of the moment battle and we have to rely on our toughness to overcome adversity, you know, such as a MEAC tournament. So they pretty much sell out every game. They're extremely uh, well coached. Greg Marshall is, you know, one of the best coaches out there. And they have a lot of talent and they have a grown man in the middle that's a monster that I really didn't think was going to be able to play, but the NCAA cleared him. So to show you how smart I am. But uh, now we got to deal with that beast and, and we'll be prepared. Since we already got Jeremy in trouble, is he, <laughs> he going to start or do you need him to be James Harden? <laughs> um, you know, we, we're really trying to find some combinations. You know, at this point in time, you know, we, we've been bothered by the injury bug. He hasn't been completely healthy. You know, he has a bruised thigh and, you know, it's been a reoccurring theme for him. And, um, you know, he has the heart of a lion, so he wants to get out there and prove himself. But you know, there's a time where you really have to sit down. So he really hasn't been uh, as valuable in our scrimmages because he's been injured. So I know what he's capable of doing. So right now the challenge for me is to decide and determine whether or not he contributes best for this team in the first five or, you know, just bring him in off the bench as a spark plug. But either way, I'm really not concerned with the starters. I'm just concerned with how we finish. How do you replace Dominique? You don't. You know, um, you know, he's a pro, so collectively, uh, with all due respect to, to him and everyone else involved, you know, I just learned that you don't. Um, you know, we were fortunate to get a kid like that and a kid, you know, as talented and as tough as, as he don't come around these parts. You know, let's, to be quite honest, he was a high major kid. And, um, you know, he's a pro, so collectively, I think our front court can be better than last year, you know, but it definitely has to be collectively. Have you figured out your point guard situation yet? Uh, Pooba and Jameer, they're battling. They're engaged. Um, you know, Jameer, the first exhibition, he had 12 turnovers. So we were all looking like, what in the world is going on out here? But that was him trying to make plays. And right now he just has to understand the system and trust the system. And he came out the other night and – played extremely well. Uh, he really got everyone involved. I think he only had one turnover. And I can just tell by his, his demeanor, and his so-called swag and practice that uh, he's starting to get the hang of it. So he has a long way to go, um, but he showed a lot of improvement thus far as well. I guess you can't really tell until, them, until the big lights come on. Yeah. But you, you get a sense from practice that, that Ray and, and Ibuka can be those consistent guys for you this season? You know, I definitely hope so. Um, you know, that's the challenge. You know, they, they, they both certainly have proven that they can rise to that level of expectation. Um, but, you know, it's a little different. And I told the guys yesterday, um, Jeremy in particular, it's a little different being the third or fourth guy on the scouting board as opposed to being the first or second guy. You know, um, a lot of times teams were collapsing on Dominique and left our guys open. But... Those guys made Dominique better as well, you know, so it was a collective effort last year, but now he's no longer here, and we accept that. We embrace, embrace that, but they have to go out and, and perform at a high level, you know, especially a guy in Ray Willis who's projected as a first-team All-MEAC selection, you know. And I'm, I'm really hard on him uh, because I think he's a super talented human being, but, you know, I just make it quite clear. You can't be the man when you want to be and not be the man when you got to be, you know. So there's a high level of responsibility that comes with that, and I'm, I'm certain he'll, he'll respond to the challenge. From what I hear is, like, inex inexperience is your weakness, of course. Right. Uh, roster. What do you feel is the strength? 
<laughs> um, we 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 have a guy. Oh, we have several guys who who's been in the heat of battle. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't get bigger than you know the A and T rivalries and that atmosphere. It doesn't get bigger than you know some of the shots Jeremy made last year was huge. Uh, some of the shots Ray let made last year was huge. So those guys bring a significant amount of experience back. But you know, overall, our strength is our strength could possibly be our depth. Um, but we have to go out there with those live bullets so I can, you know, further evaluate these guys even more because I said, listen, I don't know you like that, <laughs> you know, and I got to see who is who and what is what. And they'll showcase their talents um, between the first three or four games. That's pretty much who you are. And then I can start solidifying roles. I'm scared to issue out roles right now because we haven't, you know, some of the guys been banked up and, you know, just been medically cleared, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I really don't know them. You know, and, and that's the challenge. So such is life, and we'll get over it, and we won't use that as an excuse. Uh, we'll just go out there and compete and play hard. I just think that trumps everything at this point in time. Coach, any timetable on, on Rashawn King, and when he's healthy, what kind of player could he be? Um, you know, he, he's always been an athlete. You know, that was his biggest gift. You know, anytime you talk about someone and you mention that they were a two-sport athlete, it, or two sport star, the, the word that comes to mind is an athlete. You know, so I've known the kid since he was um, eight years old. You know, he played on the same AAU team as my godson, Rodney Purvis, and he was one of the better players on that team. So um, obviously, um, his, his circumstances haven't allowed him to showcase his full athletic potential in the, in the past years, but we're waiting on clearance and we understand and respect, um, you know, the school's position in all of this as well, you know, because it's really a sensitive situation. So, um, you know, if he can if he can come out and just contribute and just come out there and play hard and provide that level of toughness because he is a tough kid and, you know, his story indicates that. You, you don't make it through that without being a tough human being. Um, you know, your expectations of the season, how the preseason has been going as you guys get ready to take on Wichita State? Um, starting with the preseason, it's been – a normal preseason, just working hard every day, really trying to maximize what we got from the new guys and getting them used to the uh, the new system, uh, the terms, because everybody coming from different schools and different backgrounds, coaches use different language, so we're just trying to get them up to speed to what we do here at North Carolina Central. I know you guys sort of had a lot of hype last year with Dominique, uh -huh. so is it different this year? Um. I think last year, since it was our first time in the league, we felt like we was more so on the rise. You know, we, we felt like we had a lot to prove because we didn't, we didn't really know if teams felt like we should be in the league or not be in the league. But this year, I think since we got a, a year under our belt, that we know what it takes since we've been in the, in the tournament now and opposed to playing a play-in game and which in the past they had been doing. So I think we're just excited, honestly. You know, you get tired of just going at each other for the past month. Uh, we had two scrimmages. So now we're just ready to kind of, for the real thing. So we're just excited. Does it bother you that, you know, folks like myself, we always take it back to Dominique? Mm-hmm. Does, does it, does it, do you feel disrespected that we sort of ask the question like, they're going to be lost without such. Nah, we don't feel disrespected at all. He was a great player. He um, he did a lot for this program. He brought a lot to the team last year. We lost a great player. So I guess it's only right if certain people feel like that, but it's just an opinion. You know, that's why we, we go out and coaches recruit talent. Uh, even though you lose a great player, but we try to build our program around having a great team. So... Mm -hmm. so how, have you, how have you prepared for that? Um, I think Sutton did a great job with the guys that we have coming back. So to some, I may seem like the face of, of the team and the leader of the team, but each individual lead in their own way. Each individual bring a unique thing, attribute to the team. That's why Coach has them here. So I feel like 
by face, some say I'm the leader, but we all are leaders. You know, in fact, I think some of the best leaders lead from behind and learn to s learn by serving the people. So I just try to do whatever I can to help my teammates. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you've been mindful of in all um, I think that comes with just game experience. Last year was kind of like my first year playing a lot of minutes. So, like you said, that consistency was going in and out because for me it was, it was something new too, playing 30-plus minutes. So I think with having a year under my belt and being able to come back, being able to pick my spots now um, and just – just playing those minutes. That's all it is. Some stuff would just take experience. So I think I got that last year. Hey guys, um, understand the Rashawn King story, man. Does, does he make you guys work a little bit harder? Just understanding what his situation is. You know, Rashawn King is a great guy, especially once you get to know him. And um, I think some people hear that and they just be motivated for the moment. But for us, Guys that get to see him day in and day out, and you practicing, and you might you might feel a little fatigued from the day before, or exhausted from practice, being two hours in, and then you look to your right, and it's a kid that'll give anything to be out there. And so we play for Ray Shine, we play for people back home, we play for everybody that didn't have the opportunities in which we have now. So. I think we're fortunate to have a guy like Rayshon King, a, a part of our team. Jeremy, if you could uh, just talk about the preseason and, and what you've done to get ready for, for your third year here at NCCU. Um, if I could talk about the preseason, I would say um, it was a really grueling preseason, very hard working. Um, so, so kind of the same as last year, except for we pushed ourselves a little bit harder seeing that we lost Dominique Sutton and everybody got to go harder at what they do. So. That's what I can say about the preseason. Any other questions? So you'll be asked to do more this year. And so how did you prepare for that? Um, just go hard and practice every day and try to do everything that I'm asked of with my coach. That's all I can do. You came on strong, particularly at the end of the season. And one of the things Coach Moore talked about was, you know, that, that kind of grit that you came with. Talk about your style of play and how you're going to use that to uh, lift your team this season. Um, well, last year I had a role to bring energy off the bench and just um, offensively and defensively, whether we needed it on either end of the court. So I just tried to bring that. But um, this year I would like to bring the same energy, but from the start of the game. So, so you're going to be starting this season? Uh, that's what I'm looking forward to, starting. Yes. Also, man, talk to me about Rashawn King's impact on the team. Oh, Rashawn King, um, well, actually, his story is amazing. Um, he's a very strong kid or individual. We didn't say kid. We're in the same level. But, um, yeah, he's a very strong individual as far as what he's been through. So I just look at that as, as like, motivation to me to exploit the opportunity that I have at hand and just go hard at every day like it's my last. And that's all proven. I wouldn't say it's added pressure. I mean, I would just say it's um, you have to just execute and do the things that you do well. That's what I would say we have to do. Appreciate it. Yeah. One question I got, Jeremy, is uh, you know, with the, the added newcomers, do you think this year we could be a little bit more dangerous because we're not going to have to you know, depend on dominating? Uh, yeah, I think we can be dangerous once we um, gel together and um, build more chemistry together. We can be more dangerous and everyone just do what they're supposed to do. Let me, let me piggyback on that question. You know, when Dominique was around last year, could you, could you say as a team that y'all were sitting back sometimes looking at him and waiting for him? Um, I could say sometimes that, might, that may have been the case, but at a certain point of the game, I would say we all picked it up. Like, whether it was off of him or somebody else might have started it up. And then we all just piggybacked off that because, like I said, it was a team collaboration. Media, uh, 
you know, your, your insights on the preseason and how you've gotten ready for the, your final year here at NCCU and uh, just you know, your excitement to get the year started. Uh, preseason, um, we went hard every day. Um, individual workouts, skill and development was real good. Went hard, uh, tried to just win every day on and off the court. Um, the scrimmages went pretty good. We got, in the, there's a high point, we had a lot of uh, mental mistakes. We worked on those a lot, um, really fixed them a lot. Well, fixed a lot of them and cut down on a lot of them uh, against the Winston-Salem exhibition or preseason scrimmage. So uh, that's a good thing, looking forward. Uh, we know we're very coachable. Uh, we're working on toughness, uh, just being playing the toughest and executing the best. Things I asked Ray was about consistency. I, I recall that NC State game, we had a great game. Mm -hmm. wouldn't hear, wouldn't hear from you so much. Mm -hmm. How have you worked on developing that, that consistency this season? Um, practice, just bringing it every day. First of all, um, my mental, where I was mentally last year wasn't so good. Uh, trying to adjust to a new system, a new coach. And um, I feel like that played a big role in how, in my numbers and my inconsistency. So this year uh, I'm comfortable, a lot more comfortable. Um, and I'm a lot more focused than last year.